Hi again everyone, this is Cynthia. Um, today I wanted to do something that I really enjoy doing and that's um, paper piecing. So um, what I did is, in honor of the upcoming Halloween holiday, I am going to put together a bat. And uh, this is a cut file from Miss Kate's Cuttables. Um, she has a website under the same name and um, lots and lots and lots of wonderful images in there and uh, generally they're 50 cents a piece um, some of the larger more elaborate ones are 99 cents a piece and the biggest most expensive collections well standard collections um, are $1.29 and then um, you can also get entire um, usually 30 piece sets that um, are about seven dollars so really good deals um, great great images and a very easy to use website so um, what I've done is I've gone ahead and printed off um, a sample sheet is what I like to do um, I decided to make the bat 50% um, larger so instead of printing it at 100% size I went ahead and did 150% so that um, I could get a nice good size bat. So I've got all of the pieces cut and assembled or laid out ahead of me ready to be assembled. Um, pretty much I'm going to use my Tombow Mono Multi. Um, this little bottle is almost empty and I lost the label because <laughs> it is so well loved. Uh, but this is a great glue and um, I can get very precise little dots and it doesn't take much so this is a preferred glue um, I also enjoy their uh, Tombow Mana Aqua liquid glue um, which is a really nice glue um, great for larger applications um, a little sloppy with tiny pieces um, but still a favorite of mine so um, when you get your cut file, you'll also get a photograph of what the finished image should look like, and you also get an assembly instruction sheet. So, um, you know, that should help guide you through the uh, assembly process. So, I just on my computer off to the side here, I've got the uh, finished picture pulled up so I know what I'm doing. This black cut that I made here is going to be the base and there's a gray a dark gray piece that I've cut um, that'll go directly on top so let's go ahead and get started now again my glue is almost gone so I may be doing a lot of shaking here and I'm going to try to stay in frame I'm in a different spot in the craft room. The lighting may be uh, less desirable here, I don't know. But again, I will hopefully perfect this whole setup the more videos that I make. So, just give little dots and traces of glue and then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to use the wings and the bottom here of the body and the ears, the black ears are going to stick up and the black behind the wings like the webbing really of the wings here um, that'll be my guide A cute little mouth here. Um, my uh, machine didn't completely cut the corner of that mouth there. I tried to get in there with an X-Acto knife, but um, who knows. <laughs> I don't think I did that perfect, but that's okay. My bat does not need to be perfect. Okay, so see? Nice one flat object. So the next piece I'm going to do Oh, let's see, is this medium gray here. These are part of the eyes. Really the rest of it is all eyes and then a couple of teeth. So there's curves here 
um, that'll help guide me as to where I should place this. I want a little bit of that dark charcoal paper exposed around that eye. And then the same, you can see the little bump here and the bump here. That's going to be the guide for my second eye. And these pieces are perfect circles. So that's helpful too. So let's see, that's about looking good. I have to resist the urge to press too hard. Sometimes I can get really tough with my pressing. <laughs> that's not good. All right, so now we're gonna do the white pieces. And these have kind of a funny little shape. One side is definitely rounder. There's almost a point at the tips. And then this is more oblong here. So the rounder edge goes on the inside of the eye. So you'll see when I put this down. Um, I could also use my famous tweezers. I love these things. So I'm going to get this about right here. And again, I want to, this time I'm going to leave the outer curve here of this medium gray. I want that exposed. So the white goes down and then just the reverse with this piece. Oh dear. So again, not too much. You definitely don't want this glue squirting around your paper. So. There we go, super cute. And now, the iris of his eyes is this beautiful purple paper. So here's this little piece. See if I can see it with this hideous lighting. Um, and again, just little careful dots of glue is all you need. And the die cut or the uh, cut file uh, cuts out this little perfect circle, which is going to become like a little bright spot in the eye. So this one I want to focus a little bit down towards the bottom, just about right here maybe. And again, you can do what you'd like with your bat. You can make his eyes any color you want. You don't have to have as many layers if you don't want. But of course, you're going to lose out on some of those cute details. So this one is going to be again Maybe here. See how nice? Because that little tiny circle there and the circle here gives you that eye a little spark. So that's cute. And the final bit is the pupil of the eye. And see the pupil has that little notch out of the top. And you'll see what I do with that. Little bits of glue. Now I'm going to let that notch nuzzle against right up to the edge. This is so awkward because I'm sitting behind my camera. God knows what I'm doing here. <laughs> so, nice little pupil there. But you see how that little notch went right around that spark in the eye? Very, very cute. And this last little pupil, tiny bit of glue, and again you're going to nuzzle that, keep it within the iris, but nuzzle it against that little spark. Oops, got a little glue there. Clean those off. Okay. Oh my goodness, look at that little doll. Isn't he sweet? See? A little happy bat ready to decorate anything that you want. And of course you could make any number of these that you'd like. 
Uh, like I said, you can change the color. It'd be super, super cute to use some pattern papers for his body. That would be adorable. Um, and you can make his eyes any color that you'd like. So anyway, thank you again for sitting with me through another video. I really appreciate your watching. And um, this is a brand new channel for me, so if you'd like to become a new subscriber, that would be absolutely awesome. And if you like what you see, be sure to click like. All right, thank you guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.